everybody. It's wonderful to come talk to you today. It is a very stormy, dark February day. Um, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So um, are you all set for that? <laughs> um, I have a single friend. He's been a friend of mine for a very long time and he always calls Valentine's Day Single Awareness Day. And I think that absolutely <laughs> that is the case. It seems like on Valentine's Day, I always see um, the cutest little guys running around the store getting candy and flowers and couples, you know, holding hands and kissing and uh, so it's very much single awareness day for me. <laughs> so I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, winter is coming to an end and the days are getting longer and it's, it's just so wonderful. Thank you so much for all your wonderful comments last week on, uh, on my video. And it was kind of a tough subject, I think, for us, you know, to talk about aging, how we want to age and how we feel about aging and um, and getting older. And uh, yeah, it was pretty heavy, wasn't it? <laughs> I really loved it and I'm still thinking about it. So uh, thank you for all your wonderful, insightful comments and your private messages. And it was just very, very lovely. So, you know what? Um, I have wanted to review a makeup for a really long time. I've been using it on and off for a couple of months trying to make it work. And um, it's a, a higher end foundation and I thought that maybe we could talk about that a little bit today. So the makeup that I wanted to review this week is the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Makeup. Uh, I have had this, like I said, for a few months, uh, but I seriously this week uh, wanted to really give it a try. Uh, it comes in a plastic bottle, has a, a very nice pump, uh, it has uh, so many different shades. in a foundation at 61 is so much different than what I was looking for in a foundation when I was 21. Uh, I care basically about three things. Number one, I care about coverage. Uh, I have the little uh, freckles on my cheeks and I want a makeup that will cover that up without making me look cakey and overdone and I don't want to have to build it up. Uh, the number two thing that I am looking for in a foundation is color correction because as we get older we have uh, our, the cast of our skin isn't exactly as warm as we would like and also uh, I need a makeup that's going to work with my yellow undertones and I have olive undertones too so um, you know I don't want to look too orangey or yellow so I'm looking for uh, something that's going to help me color correct. And the third thing I'm looking for is a nice, nice smooth finish. Uh, nothing that's going to find my fine lines or pores. So those are the three things that at 61 I'm looking for uh, with a foundation. And so far I can honestly tell you that there's only been two foundations that I have found that have uh, satisfied all three things that I am looking for. Well, I thought, okay, this is $43 at Sephora. It has a pretty good reputation. But I only I saw one review of this by someone over 50. So I thought, well, I'm going to throw my hat into this ring and tell you what I think of this because I'm over 60. So let me just start out by saying that uh, my number one thing, coverage. Um, I don't know who they're making this makeup for, but my skin, I guess, is just not good enough for this makeup because I got zero coverage and I used it with a primer. Uh, I uh, tried to apply it without a primer. I used a beauty blender. I used a brush. I used, I used, I was, I stood on my head and sang the Star Spangled Banner putting this makeup on and I couldn't get it to cover anything. I couldn't believe it. I, I, I just, I'm still in shock that I, I just put, you know, it went on like a dream and the color match was pretty good, covered nothing. I've had cheap BB creams uh, from the Dollar General cover more than what this makeup did. So I, I couldn't believe it. So I got no coverage at all. And if I tried to build it up, then it would just cake into my pores and my fine lines, which is my third thing when it comes to makeup. I absolutely hate. 
Um, and as far as color correcting, my number two thing is working with my undertones and giving me a nice warm glow. Uh, no, absolutely not. They actually almost gave me a little bit of a gray cast, I noticed. Um, that actually, though, did get better when I did use a primer. So that did help. Uh, but as far as working with my undertones, absolutely not. Making me look good on camera, no, absolutely not. I mean, this was, this makeup couldn't have failed any more than what it failed. And I hate to be so harsh, but I'm just saying for $43, I so wish I would have just taken that $43 and given it to the Humane Society. I went on to the Sephora website after I knew that, you know, I wasn't liking the makeup, so I wasn't influenced by the reviews that I read about the HD makeup on the Sephora website, but it really got some amazingly horrible reviews. And they said the exact same thing I did. I mean, like, how good does your skin have to be? It doesn't cover, and, and another thing it does is it makes you super oily. If which you are a woman my age uh, who has a tendency to have uh, oily skin and uh, does have your little freckles on your cheeks, uh, age spots, or whatever you want to call them, I like to refer to them as freckles, if you have that, I'm just really skip it. I had to go somewhere yesterday and I had this makeup on and I somehow had to save it without, well, I didn't have time to wash my face and, you know, uh, do the whole schmeal with another makeup. So I did use my Milani Illuminating Powder, uh, Herma Rosa, the shade Herma Rosa. It looks, uh, it looks a lot like that. And I did actually put it all over and it did help it. It, it did, you know, and I'm not a big one for, you know, uh, being illuminated, but I was really surprised that I liked it. I, I like this uh, Milani Illuminating Powder. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, but I really enjoy it as far as it's not as harsh as a bronzer. And you know, another thing, um, I am using Bye Bye Under Eye today for the very first time, and I got a sample of it. And so I am trying it, and I don't know if I like it yet or not. You know, the one thing that I do notice about it is that it does seem to catch the light. And if it's catching the light, then it seems like it's going to um, draw more attention to my under eye area, and I don't want that. You know, I am getting ready to do a complete skincare routine video. And that's really important to me because the last one I did was the middle of last summer and I have changed so many things. And I am so happy and pleased at the way that my skin is behaving. And I am so thrilled and I want to do a brand new uh, skin video. And I would very much like to do before and after. Um, I do have a lot of photographs and I do have um, some video. So in looking back on those videos, uh, it was pretty touching for me to, to look back on uh, such innocence <laughs> of me trying to figure out what was going to work for my skin. And I was using a lot of night creams and, you know, I just think in my humble opinion that the era of the night cream is probably over. Uh, I think that uh, there are so many products now that are so good for our skin and I'm having amazing luck with uh, different oils that I'm using on my face. I'm, I'm not using a, a, a lot of different crazy products um, and most of them are oils. So I'm very, very pleased with that. And so I can't, I really am looking forward to doing uh, my updated skincare routine. And I love it that it's inexpensive and the simplicity of it is so beautiful and my health is so important to me and I think everything that I'm using is uh, natural and uh, pretty healthy for me so I'm pretty happy about that.
you know, I had this, I had this lovely lady, she was watching one of my videos, uh, an older video where I said, you know, well, you know, I don't do get ready with me's because, you know, I'm not a professional makeup artist and, um, you know, I, I just put my makeup on pretty much the same every day. I'm getting a little bit better, but, you know, there's nothing special to what I do. And she said, no, 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 that's not the point, Sue. The point is that when you get to be over 50 or over 60, we don't get to see women our age reflected back to us. We're not in the movies. We're not on TV. Or if we are, we're uh, portrayed in such a negative way. Um, she said it's important for someone her age to be reflected back to her, putting on their makeup, putting on their mascara, doing their hair, picking out a scarf or an outfit. She said that that meant the world to her and inspired her to get up every day and uh, and face the day in uh, have a little style. She needed that extra validation. She needed that extra romantic reflection of a woman her age or older or a little bit younger uh, working on her style, working on her makeup. Whether it be professional, good or bad, it didn't matter. It's just that we're all in this together and we're all trying to be the best we can be and we learn from each other and we get inspired by each other. So I understood her point of view and I, I had it all kind of goofy in my head that, oh, you know, well, there's a lot of things I can't do because, you know, I'm not an expert at it. Well, you know, I'm not an expert at skin care. I'm not an expert on makeup. I'm... I'm really an expert on me, <laughs> and that's all I can be. And she sort of pointed out that that's enough. So it gave me something to look forward to. So I will, um, you know, now that you put it that way, I would be honored to be your reflection back. So thank you so much for that beautiful comment and for opening up my eyes to what's really important.